Hello and welcome to another Scardcast Battle Report. Today is the rubber match against Matt. He has brought his um, Windrider host against my Dark Eldar and Eldar ally army. So let's begin. Today we're playing 1,500 points of Astronomicon Toronto mission. The mission is Escalation. So, um, Matt chose to deploy first. He had to roll a D6 for each unit, and on a 6, they had to be deployed. So, both Warwalker units and the Vipers had to be deployed. The rest of his army is in reserve. And I got everything in reserve except for my three Eldar jet bikes that are hiding right behind there. It is night fight turn one and um, I decided to roll on runes of fate this game and I rolled executioner, mind war, I have guide and death mission which are some crazy powers. The farseer is with the reaver jet bikes at the start of the game. So we're moving on to Eldar turn one. The scout moves have been made. Let's get this party started. Eldar turn one. So in this mission reserves show up on a five plus on turn one on a randomly determined board edge. So the fire dragons and the wave serpent uh, came on his regular board edge and one wind rider jet bike unit came on on his board edge and they are all moved up. That's the only thing he did. So, in my turn, I get to roll for my reserves. I do need a 5+, plus because I have no reserve shenanigans. So, um, the Razorwing does not show up. The Ravager does not show up. The unit of 8 Witches does not show up. The unit of 8 Witches with a Hecatrix does not show up. Two units of Venoms. One shows up. One unit of Venoms with the <laughs> Cavalier Warriors. The Hellions, who are deep striking, show up. The no Reaver jet bike unit shows up with the Farseer. And the Beast Pack does not show up. So I have one, the Hellions, one Viper, uh, one Venom, and the Reaver jet bikes showing up. This is going to be brutal if I come in piecemeal. Okay, we'll be back. The little Venom unit moved up here. The little Cavalier Warriors got out. And the Reaver jet bikes were over here with the Farseer. Um, and the Helions move back here behind this big hill, trying to stay out of line of sight. From this, the Doom Riders. <laughs> In uh, Psychic Phase, I Mind Ward one of the um, cannon off the board, and I uh, shot with the Venom, killing most of the units, the jet bikes that were there, and then I Blade Vein the last remaining two for a pain token. In shooting, the guided blaster shot into the war walkers, but Matt passed his invulnerable save. So now we're moving on to Eldar, turn two. His reserves are now coming on on regulars, so three pluses with the Autarchs, plus one or minus one. So I have uh, two regular Windrider squads, so both will come in. Mm -hmm. or, wait, no, the Autark has to be on the board. Does he? Yeah. Okay. Autark squad comes in. And warp spiders. Good. Okay. The wind riders showed up on this flank, focused everything into the jet bikes and the farseer, finally killing the jet bikes and the farseer. But it took the warp spiders, two full units, and all the vipers. The war walkers fired into the venom, uh, wrecking it, and the wave serpent fired into the five cab lights, leaving one alive who broke and ran off the board. So it's looking grim for the Dark Eldar, as it has every single game against this army. But, <laughs> but we shall see if I can pull a hat trick out of a hat, making it a trick. Okay, so in reserves, now I get to roll on three pluses. We have the uh, beasts, they show up. The second unit of Venom Warriors, they show up. The Eight witches without the Hectrix, the witches with the succubus, sorry, nope, and the Ravager, and nope, and the Razorwing, no. So just the beasts, the unit of witches, and the Venom. So just the Warp Beast came in, and they came in uh, the Beast Pack on my board edge. I had the Venom and Warriors come in, and then I had the Raider with witches. So I have to do something, so I moved everything up. I'm going to try and weather this turn of firepower. The Venom did get five wounds on this far jet bike unit to try and force a morale check because they're so close to board edge but Matt passed all five of his armor saves and the blaster failed to hit the non-jinking wave serpent so now we're moving on to 
Eldar, turn three. Does the other unit of jet bikes show up from reserve? And it does. I will actually put it He's down. going to negate it so it doesn't come in with the autark, which we found out does work even if it's not on the board. So he chose to keep them off last turn so they can come in and help at the end of the game. Stay tuned. Now Matt is doing his assault moves for the jet bikes in shooting. The Warwalkers and Vipers fired and killed five Chimera, the Beast Master, and one Razorwing, but he held with one Razorwing flock left. Nothing happened to the to this little unit here. The Raider survived three cannons, all the scatter lasers, only to get blown up by the one Bright Lance that got through. It exploded, killing all eight witches inside in the explosion, as I didn't pass a single armor save. And four of the Helions died to the Wave Serpent firing its entire complement of shots into the army. So now we're moving on to El Dark Eldar turn three. And let's see what reserves I have left to show up, needing on threes. So we have the Unit of Witches with the Succubus does not show up. We have the Ravager shows up and the Razor Wing shows up. So everything except my Warlord has now come on. The little jet bike unit moved on, put three hell points on the Warwalkers, killing one, putting one hell point. The Helions charged in with a plus one attack combat drug, uh, did the other hell point on the next one. Uh, this Venom fired into the farmost Eldar jet bike unit, killing two, and one of them was a cannon. And then that was that. I shot the Ravager into the Wave Serpent, who jinked from here, but was past its jinx save, and the Blaster did not do any damage, while the Razor Wing moved in, fired, hit eight, and killed one of the jet bike models from the Autarch's unit. So now we're moving on to Eldar turn four. We'll see if I can salvage anything from this game. It's rounding it up now. Nothing happened to the Razor Wing. The five Cab Light Warriors died to the um, Warp Spiders and the... No, not the Warp Spiders, the Vipers. The Warp Spiders and the Fire Dragons fired into Venom, killing it. Uh, one Lance was lost from the Ravager, from the Snap Shooting Wave Serpent. The three Eldar Jet Bikes died, as well as the Helions. So going on to turn four, all I have is one Raider left with Witches in it, with my Hecatrix uh, Succubus that can come in and uh, just shoot. They can't really do anything else. So, wish me luck. The Raider showed up, fired into the Warp Spiders, killing three out of four. And the Raider forced the Waves of Jink, and the Ravager finished off the, wa the Warp Spiders. And the Razor Wing killed one model from the Autarch's unit at the back. So now we're moving on to Eldar Turn 5, could be the end of the game. A lot of shooting, finally took down the Raider, but didn't explode it. The Witches got out, they are not pinned. Everything else moved up. One hull point was taken off of the Razor Wing, and the Ravager finally exploded to one lucky hit from the Snap Shooting Wave Serpent. And now we're moving on to Dark Eldar turn five. In a fit of glory, the Succubus in a unit, multi-charged the Fire Dragons, the Wave Serpent, and the Vipers, killing the Fire Dragons, uh, wrecking the Wave Serpent, and putting three hull points on the Vipers, so one dead and one with one hull point. I killed one of these bikes with the Razor Wing Jet Fighter, and now we're going to roll to see if it continues. Oh, and the game is over. <laughs> so the witches, in the middle of everything, survive this epic onslaught of doom of red death, which is awesome. Matt, do you have any last turn? I uh, made the switch from Shining Spears to Warp Spiders. They seem to do really well. I love the mobility of them, and I know how to play them a little bit better than Spears. Um, I got the jump because you came in piecemeal, and I think that's what it boiled down to. Yeah, the biggest thing about Astro is all the different missions are very unique. Um, in this mission, you got points for having units left alive at the end of the game. Um, I wasn't really... He had more units than me left alive, which meant that he was going to be having a lot of points in the primary. This is another Eldar victory. Loving how this army is coming along. Look at that. Look how beautiful those are. They look really cool. So it's a little bit of a showcase for you guys. They've got all the um, the uh, scourge heads and like like really cool paint scheme and all the different units have different markings for the different units. The vipers are the bane of my existence. I hate that unit of three vipers. Yeah. <laughs> and look at that. Even this one like has a little harlequiny style checker pattern and they're in the process to be made. He's got two weeks to get them all done, three weeks to get them all done. Of course stay tuned to the tactical corner where I uh, 
give pictures and go over the tactical things in the game. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, make sure you check out the uh, blog at scar.podbean.com and uh, the Twitter feed at scarty, scarry2. At scarry2. Enjoy and uh, leave a comment. I'd love to know what you think. Bye. Hello and welcome to a tactical corner. So this was all about the mission. In the mission, um, he got his firebase deployed early on and most of his army arrived by turn two with the Autarch's help. This put a lot of pressure on my army. It's very hard for me to come back from the initial pressure. My turn two was crucial. Only getting soft hitting units on the board without the support of my heavy firepower. And um, he was able to just move around, focus fire on the different threats in terms of my raiders with the witches and my helions and the beasts and really knock them down a notch so they weren't able to play a part in the game. Um, I was happy I was able to try and swing it in my favor in a, in a few occasions um, but you know rolling was a part of it and uh, Matt's positioning in terms of his units was great because he knew that at any point it could switch. And right at the end of the game, just having my uh, succubus and witches able to charge into the middle and cause havoc against all these different units was simply a moral victory in and of its own. Thanks for watching.